In this video, I will tell you how you can make a grappling hook for your Godot project. First, let us set up our game project which includes setting up our test scene and downloading some add-ons. Here is our collision layer, as you can see, one is for our game walls, the other is for player and the third is for our grappling hook. Next, let us make the player scene. Although the overall structure is taken from Garbage's video, I want you to focus on the hook node inside our player's head. Hook node will only be an ADS 3D with a spherical mesh as its model and the corresponding collision shape. For the rope, we are making a non-colliding group 3D with a cylindrical mesh to represent it. Next, we will make a marker CD in front of the player's head called aim and the reason why we are creating it will be better understood when we get to the code. Speaking of code, here I am just refactoring the boilerplate character body 3D code. You can have a look at it if you want to but it's not the primary goal of the studio. Here we are making our player look around with the mouse. We make our player rotate along the Y axis with related to the mouse's movement on the X axis between frames and similarly for our head's rotation along the X axis. Now let us see how to handle shooting our hook. As soon as the mouse button is clicked, we record this shooting down direction, which is the direction vector between our aim node and our head node. This essentially gives us our forward vector protruding out of our head node. We also detach our hook from our head. This is done so that the hook's movement is not influenced by its parent, that is the player's movement. Now, as long as our mouse button is held and the hook is not attached to anything, we want the hook node to move along the shoot direction at a predetermined speed. Now, as soon as the mouse button is released, we want the hook to get back into the player and attach to its head. This hook flag will become true or false depending on whether any body has entered or exited the hook area respectively. Now let us quickly just declare the hook pull function. This function will define how our hook is pulling our player, although we will get to its definition later. I just want you to know that the pulling force of our hook will be dependent on how far our hook is from the player. Now, let us go over how the rope of our grappling hook will work. For worlds, I only want it to be visible when we have shot our grappling hook and invisible otherwise. To elongate our rope along our hook's trajectory, we set the size of our rope cylinder to be the distance between our hook node and our head node. But since our cylinder increases uniformly in height in both front and the back, we have to move it constantly to be at the center between our head node and our hook node. Now our grappling hook looks something like this. While we are in the 3D mode, let us just quickly set up the rest of our project. This includes making the dummy level where we will test our grappling hook, making the crosshair of our player, and setting the physics stick rate to be 120. Now let us move back to our hook pull function. As mentioned earlier, I want our pull force to be dependent on the distance between our player and our hook node. Let us call this expression pull force modifier. Once the is hook flag is true, that is the hook has attached to a body. We create a pull force vector, having the magnitude as our pull force modifier along the direction between our player and our hook node. Then we just apply this pull force to our player's velocity. Although, as you can see, we apply a lot of vertical force to our player. We can fix that by tweaking our pull force modifier expression. Although, the specifics of which will depend on your use case. For me, making our pull force modifier to be a cube root of our distance between the player and the hook and decreasing the vertical component of our pull force by one fourth seems to have done the trick. And with this, our grappling hook is complete. Okay, bye.